Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Howie Venom, and today uh, we're going to be doing a vlog. And in this vlog, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about my taste in music because I have, I'm a very musical individual. I love music, and um, music has been a very important part of my life for since ever. Just like everybody loves music, it's it, it, you can't hate music. It's it's impossible to hate music. And so I wanted to do a bit, a little bit of a video explaining my favorite types of music, and then getting your guys' opinion on what your guys' favorite music is and like why um, why it's your favorite music but um, as I was saying I'm a, I'm a pretty musical individual I got I got quite a few instruments well quite a few I've got a couple instruments I got the a uke here um, had this one actually I haven't had this one for nearly as long um, as some of my other instruments but I got the uke here I learned I got this for the sole purpose of learning can't help falling in love Anywho, that um, that's the first couple chords to "Can't Help Falling in Love," but there's there's that. Um, I've got a guitar here. If um, you guys have seen this in the background of most of my videos, I I've, I've played it a couple times actually. I I learned how to play it and I really like it. It's fun. It's just it's a guitar. It's it's very similar to the ukulele, just you know a lot bigger, more strings, and a lot more difficult. But um, I'll get this thing out and show you. This is actually, this has been brought down from family, from a couple people in my family. Uh, my grandmother got it from her grandmother, and uh, my grandmother gave it to me recently, not recently, um, probably about my birthday last year, and I started learning it, and I love it. I love the guitar. It's it's really fun. It's just really difficult, and I have a friend of mine that I'm, I'm trying to work up the courage to ask her how to treat me, or how to... How to uh, play it a little bit better because I just I really want to learn the guitar um, a lot more. But we've also got a piano. Okay, phone. Um, we've got a piano in our living room, not our living room, in our kitchen, dining room, place thing. I don't know uh, how to explain it, but we got we have a piano, and I'm actually getting another piano tomorrow. That's going to be going into my room for videos and stuff. I'm gonna actually do some. Uh, covers of songs. I might actually sing in them too. Probably not because I'm not good at singing, but you know what? I might not be good, but that's not the important part. The important part is that I enjoy it, right? Um, I've got that. I've got a saxophone all the way up, all the way up, all the way up there behind that wooden thing up there. That's where I've got a, um, a saxophone and uh, yeah, that's probably that's the instrument I started learning it for band back in oh gosh fifth grade fourth grade and actually band at that time wasn't my choice I was forced into it by my parents oh god let's go ahead and angle that a little bit more um the thing I don't like about this light is that it takes time to like turn on more and so it at the beginning of the video as you'll see I just turned it on right before I started the video and you'll notice the the lighting difference as this video goes on but Anywho, um, yeah, I learned how to play the saxophone for band class in fifth grade, and I played it all the way up through eighth grade, I want to say. No, I played it through seventh grade, and then eighth grade I switched to the bass drum, and then I didn't do a freshman or sophomore year, but this year, junior year, I am doing the trap set, um, and I love it. I love playing the drums. The drums are just so much more fun, in my opinion. I just, I love them. But, like I said, I want to do a couple covers for piano. I might do some for other instruments. I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe. Sorry, I had to wait for my camera to focus, but uh, the main purpose of this video was to just give you a little insight into my musical taste. Um, I'm a big fan of pretty much any kind of music except for, oh, it, it, by the way, I got a haircut, and so my hair's all over the place today, but um, I've been, I'm just, I love music, and I'm a big fan of everything except, like, heavy metal and country. I'm, I'm not a big fan of heavy metal and country, and I, I respect people that like them. There's nothing wrong with them. I just, I personally don't like them. But um, currently, my favorite album is Everybody by Logic because it's just, it's so good. And um, I just, I love every song on that album. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't think there's a song on that. Sorry, uh, camera got out of focus again. I don't think there's a single song on that album that I don't like that I can think of right now at the very least. Um, Black Spider-Man is a good one. Uh, 1-800, good one. Very good one. Mm, everybody's a good one, of course. Take it back. You know, they're just, they're all good. They're all good. So, um, 
And plus, Logic is just a really good rapper. I'm a big fan of him because he just, the message he sends, and especially with this most recent, this Everybody album, it's it's just great. Um, so, big fan of Logic, but I just recently got into him because of a good, my the person that cuts my hair. Um, he, he showed me him a good long while ago, and, and I remembered him, and I had heard a, whole, a lot of buzz around the, the El- Everybody album, and so I listened to it, and I love it. But there's that, and then uh, 21 Pilots. Big fan of 21 Pilots. I've got a Actually, my merch is over there. I use it. I sleep in that shirt because it's just a really comfortable shirt. But 21 Pilots, Panic at the Disco. I have such a man crush on Brandon Yuri. Like, oh my god. Brandon is Brandon Yuri is just an amazing individual. He's got the, his vocal range is just so good. Like, I if I could sing, I would give anything in my life to be able to sing like him. Well, not anything, but I would. Gosh, if I had his voice. It would be amazing, but um, I'm really just a big fan of people that have good voices. Like the song Hallelujah, um, I love that song because no matter who does it, from okay, not no matter who does it, but if it's done correctly, it is a gorgeous song, <laughs> a gorgeous song. Like Pentatonix, their um, their version of that song is phenomenal. The first time I heard it, I cried. I won't even lie; it was just gorgeous, and I love that song so. Uh, 21 Pilots, Panic at the Disco, John Bellion. John Bellion, I love John Bellion, especially the Separation album is great. Uh, the Separation is really good, and then so is the, oh gosh, what's it called? Um, the Divide, maybe? Something like that, It's it, but it's really good. And it's, it's the album that Carry Your Throne is on. Carry Your Throne and then a couple other ones. Well, obviously it's an album, but uh, Carry Your Throne is a great song. To your to my future wife, that song I love that song so much. Open up the doors in the back of the church and they all rise. That song just oh, I love it. Um, Air Catcher by Twenty One Pilots is a great song. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite because it just it's it's just really good. And then the song Friend Please. Oh God, the song Friend Please. I adore that song. They, all of the self titled album is really good, but. That song in particular just, it brings back a lot of memories. Uh, I was listening to that song um, a couple nights ago, and it's just, that song really gets me. Because I've got a friend who's, uh, a couple friends actually, that, that really struggle with depression and, and anxiety and some other stuff. And it just, that song really, the first time I heard it, it really, I showed it to my best friend. My best friend Brandon, you've all seen him before, you know him. Um, I showed it to him and he cried. It was great. I cried. He didn't cry. I cried. Sorry. I cried. He liked it, though. So that's good. But um, it just... That song is amazing. And really, honestly, most of 21 Pilots songs are really good. I can't really think of a single song that I don't like. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Ride and Stressed Out, but that's just because I've I heard them over and over and over again so much. And they're still good songs. It's just I'm not... I heard them too much. So I just, I can't listen to them anymore very much. But um, We Don't Believe What's on TV, that is a great song as well. I just, that song is, it, it's, it really speaks, like a lot of, all of 21 Pilots songs really have, send a message, and they're really good at getting their message across, and which is, which is a really big reason as to why I like them. But it's just, mm, it's great. I mean, I, I know I'm just basically telling you a list of songs that are just great that everybody should go listen to, but honestly, the, the Everybody album, I'll, I'll say this, the Everybody album really helped me in a time that I was really struggling with life as a whole. And I, I'm, I keep looking at my hair. My hair is a complete mess, and I apologize for that. But anywho, um, that, song, that, that album, the, the first time I heard the song 1-800-273, I cried. I'm a very emotional individual, and I'm like, I'm not... I'm not scared to to show my emotions because what's the worst? That this life is short. There's no there's no need to hide how I'm feeling because if I do, it's just it's gonna cause pain for other people or more pain for me. And it's just there's no reason to, in my opinion. So I'm I'm very open about my emotions. And one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five made me cry several times. I still cry to it when I listen to, when I listen to it today. It's just it really gets me. And that's just a lot of their music. Um, I'm trying to think of other people I listen to. I mean, I listened to Eminem when I was, you know, 13. Uh, everybody does. 
Eminem is just a good rapper. He's it's I just I've always liked him. And then there's like I'm not a big fan of like Lil Peep, uh, Lil Pump, Lil Uzi Vert. You know I'm not a big fan of that kind of rap. I am a fan of Post Malone because he's got a really nice voice. Honestly, like he just his voice is is really nice. And which really surprised me the first time I I heard uh, Rockstar. I believe was the first song I heard. No, it was Fall Apart. Fall Apart was the first song I heard, and it it really surprised me how good of a voice he has. But there was him. And then there was one other one that I can't think of right now that um, that I really liked, but I can't think of him for some reason. Huh. And then there's like, um, I've got a bunch of records, uh, of course. Uh, I've got this one right here. This is Dean Martin. I got him. I've got uh, the Vessel album, actually. The one, the one that's currently on my record player right now is uh, the Vessel album. Great album, great album. Um... Oh, holding on to you is a great song, by the way. If if any if y'all haven't heard it, I would strongly recommend and go listening to it because that song just holding on to you is just a really good song. I'm taking over my body, back controlling my shiny, but allow me to see you now. Anywho, sorry, that's the, that's the first part of that song. Except it's not nearly that fast, I promise. But it's a really good song. I definitely recommend it. We've got some Elvis. We've got some. Uh, we got some Frank Sinatra, of course. Frank Sinatra. We've got. I've got a couple more. Uh, Dean Martin and I've also got a Panic at the Disco somewhere I believe it's Death of a Bachelor I believe I have the Death of a Bachelor album which is a great album by the way um, no I don't have Death of a Bachelor I have the Too Weird to Die Young I think I don't know I, I never remember the name of that album but it's got Miss Jackson it's got um, Colorful um, you know you know that album It, but it's a really good album I definitely recommend listening to it if you haven't and then there's the a music from a couple of um, games I've played, like Undertale. Undertale has the best soundtrack in any game I've ever played in my life. It, it, it I listen to that, that album over and over again all the time, because, still to this day, because it's just a really good album. Like, all the, the music was put together so well. Cuphead, I love quartets, like string quartets. I love them so much, because it's just... The way their voices harmonize with each other, it just... It really makes me happy. The vocal... The, the, People's vocal range really makes me happy. Like, if somebody has a really good voice, it really will, like, improve my mood, and I don't even know why. It just, like, when I heard James Arthur singing, um, Suicide, that's, his voice in that song really made me just smile really big, because it, he has a great voice, and so does Callum Scott with Dancing on Your Own, On My Own. It is, that is, his voice in that song is also amazing. James Parson in Sinner Like You has a really good voice. I'm not a fan of the acoustic version of it, I won't lie, because, I mean, I like the song, but he does a couple things in that song that I'm just not a fan of. Like, he'll trill his voice in places that I just, I didn't think it fit very well, and that's just my personal opinion. He still has a great voice, it's just, I wasn't a fan of a couple places in that song, and so I prefer to listen to the regular version, but that does not, that is not to take away anything from his singing. He is a great singer. Sorry, I'm moving my cam because this it keeps focusing on uh, this part of my mic thing, so moved it. But <sighs> Parson James, great singer, great singer. Um, Labyrinth, the song Jealous by Labyrinth is a really good song as well. Eden, the Eden Project, great, great singers, art, great band, I should say. And then I'm also a fan of, like, I'm a little bit of a fan of My Chemical Romance. They, they were really good. Uh, I, I can't think of the, the Welcome to the Black Parade album is really the only album I I really listen to because I liked the I liked of course Welcome to the Black Parade I liked Mama Mama's a good song uh, Teenager Teenagers I think whatever whatever that song is called that's a good one as well Cancer Cancer is a good song and I'm a really big fan of Cancer or Twenty One Pilots remake of that song but the song that I, I that, that I think of every time I think of Twenty One Pilots is the song Can't Help Falling in Love originally by Elvis Presley and that song just I love that song. That was the first song I ever learned on the piano, and that's also um, the song that I'm trying to learn on the piano. Or not the piano, the ukulele. I already learned it on the piano. And I really wish I could sing better. And I'm not saying I'm not saying that to, to oh, you're good at singing. No, that's not what I'm asking for. I just, it's, it's a fact. I'm not the best at singing. Oh, well, something I gotta live with. But um, that song, 21... What's his name? Tyler Joseph has sings that song so well. I love his voice in that song. And there, that's really what I like about music. People's voices in music. And I like instruments too, but don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, but I really like people's voices in music. And that's what really will make or break a song in my opinion. 
So um, there you guys go. You got a little bit of in insight into my opinion on music and everything and i hope you guys will tell me in the comments down below what kind of music you like how you what do you think of my opinion on music and everything um so yeah tell me down in the comments below what, what your guys's favorite album is uh thank you all so much for watching this video if you liked it hit that like button and if you want to see more hit that subscribe button once again thank you and i will see all of you in the next video bye